Hi everybody. Brenda here with Snippity Doo Creations. Um, here today to give a short tutorial on my loaded altered file folder that um, some of you may have seen on Gail's channel. Um, first, I'd like to give a shout out to Jennifer, Mayor, and Debbie. And also a grateful thank you to Gail for her much support and encouragement. As some of you may have heard, um, I have had uh, a tongue biopsy and um, laser treatment. So it's going to be a short video today. Um, I just wanted to show you the basics of the um, altered file folder. So maybe you guys can... Um, <clears throat> get that done and uh, get your papers ready to later on uh, decorate. So let's get started on the basic. You're gonna need two file folders and I don't think it matters um, where the tabs are. I mean, you can, you know, mess around with it and see where you might like the tabs or if it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> the first file folder, uh, we're just going to fold in half. I have a, a, half, a half mark already in the, in the middle. Let me get this one out of your way here. So this is, uh, this is going to be your book part, where your journal will be. So you just fold that right down the middle. Use your bone folder. Burnish it very well. So that's going to be your main part. Now, I'm going to set that aside, and for your little booklet part that goes on the front. Take another file folder. Fold it right in half. Same as you did the first one. Burnish. Then going to take it again and fold it in half just up to the the bottom of the tab here now it's going to take some muscle but you can do it just like to make sure that it's as straight as you can do it and then burnish Burnish that right down. There you go. And this is your um, little booklet for the front. And I always like to try to have the pockets in the front. Two little pockets and this is going to go right on the front here and how we do that is we get a little piece of um, cardstock probably about three inches maybe fold it right in half And what I like to do is right in between the first part of the folder here, I stick that right in between, right up to the fold. Okay? So this will be folded down and then we will be gluing this part right to the front of the folder. But before we do that, 
what I like to do is sew, or you can glue too, but I like to sew right around the sides and bottom of the folder. When you get over to this side, make sure this is open when you sew. You don't want to sew this down. Make sure it's open. Let me show you. Okay, here's one that I have sewn. So right around, when you get to this side, just make sure that this part is not sewn down. Then after you sew or glue, whichever you decide, I also sew right down the middle of the little booklet. Then, use some Fabri-Tac. Glue this part with Fabri-Tac. And I usually stand it up. Make sure your booklet is the correct way that you want it. And try to get that right in the middle, right along there. I glue it and I close it. Make sure it's in the position that I want it. Burnish that down. Open it up. Burnish it down again. And there you have your little front. There you have it. I put little uh, thumb notches in the hole, in little thumb holes at the top of this one, and at the top of this one. So you have a place for tags here. You have a tuck spot here. You have a place for tags here. You have a tuck spot here, a tuck spot here, and a tuck spot here. That is your basic altered file folder. And um, <clears throat> I hope that you can uh, get some papers together. I've decided that I am going to use um, Think Pink from uh, Calico Collage. Um, since October is coming up, I am going to uh, put together a breast cancer awareness uh, little altered file folder and journal. These are the papers I'll be using. And um, you guys put some papers together that you would like to use and on the next tutorial um, we will decorate and I'll show you how I put the um, tuck spots together on the insides of the covers and we'll go from there and hopefully have a good time. So this is your base. I hope you all are staying safe. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you next time with hopefully a not so painful tongue. And you guys all stay safe and have fun.
continue crafting. Bye-bye.